how do you spot an active volcano? Well, you might think of thick plumes of a CO2 rising into the atmosphere or perhaps hot lava spewing from the mouth of a volcano. Well, pumice is another product of volcanic activity and this is what it looks like. It's full of cavities and it's lightweight. That's because of interaction with cool surfaces like water or the air. It doesn't have time to cool to form the likes of crystals in a magma chamber. Well, these have become significant in recent days because of videos being shared on social media just like this. People who've been sailing through the Pacific Ocean have been sharing these kind of eclipse. Shannon Lenz, she's one of these people. And you can see a sea of pumice that stretches 20,000 football pitches wide. And if we move through this video, this is what it was like to sail through this so-called pumice field. She said, we sailed through the pumice field for six to eight hours and much of that time there was no visible water. Well, a group that have been monitoring this is NASA and they shared the satellite image. And just for scale, you can see Manhattan Island there and uh, that raft uh, of pumice there. So it's a huge raft sailing or moving through the Pacific Ocean. Well, this is significant uh, because of the location. Let's just take a look at where it is using Google Earth. Uh, now, it's right by this kingdom of Tonga. That's a chain of islands in the Pacific coast. That's where the eruption happened, NASA reckon, uh, a couple of days ago. And if we zoom out, we can see that it's right by the Australian coast, right by the barrier reef. Well, we spoke to someone who's going to be studying these, this raft of pumice, the associate professor, Brian Scott Bryan for, of geology at Queensland University of Technology. And he explained how this could be significant for the Great Barrier Reef. The pumice will start becoming a home for a whole uh, range of shallow marine organisms, plants and animals, uh, ranged from corals, bryozoans, snails, worms, uh, and enemies. We're all going to find a home on this pumice, and it's going to slowly drift its way uh, westwards to Australia uh, to arrive in the Great Barrier Reef region probably around Easter time next year. The pumice will start. Well, the status of coral has been really concerning for scientists, that bleaching of coral. This is a real case of right place, right time. This moving in when the coral is going to be uh, spawning in the new year. We're going to have to see how significant this raft will be.